Hello, I'm Brad Host again and I'll continue my drone series videos. In my previous video I was creating a drone flight program using my drone controller and the software inside of it. But we might have our project drawing ready and uh, in my project drawing I might have some interesting line, let's say feature line or road alignment or some area and I can export it into KML format. KML format is well known, let's say, Google Earth format, or we at least know about it uh, because of Google Earth. And KML file formats are in correct coordinate system. Uh, of course, once our project drawing itself is in correct coordinate system, we can export it into KML format, and then we can put it onto our memory card uh, and input it into our drone controller. Once we have this KML file inside our controller, we can create our drone flight program based on this line. And of course, uh, it depends on which line we have. Is it a just alignment or is it a area? Based on that, we can create different types of drone flight programs. Once we have our program ready, then we can move to construction site and carry on our drone flights. So, let's pay attention now to our computer screen and let's do those uh, workflows together to see how easy it is to export KML file and based on that to create a new fresh drone flight program. Let's do it. You can create this KML file in different ways. At first, I will show you how to do it in Autodesk Civil 3D, mainly because project data has been given in this format. It is important that my project is in correct coordinates before I start to export into this KML format. In Civil 3D, I first go to Toolspace, then Settings. I'll do a right click on my drawing name and selecting Edit Drawing Settings. And now I can see, or if needed, I can change my coordinate system. Right now, you can see that I'm using Estonian coordinate system. So, I have double checked my coordinate system, so I will exit my dialog. If I zoom in to this red area, which represents a new 2 plus 2 highway, which also shortens the distance in between Tallinn and Tartu, I will carry out my drone flight program in the left hand side of this red line, which is basically a start of this new highway from Tallinn side. To simplify this process, I have kept only important lines into this project. And the most important line to create a KML file is basically my road alignment, or part of it in where I want to carry out drone flight program. If I zoom in once again and do a left click on this center line, then I can see that my line is about 1.4 km long, or in meters about 1385 meters. If I zoom out, I can see that my line starts from the location in where the new highway starts. I can also see more exact values if I zoom in and picking up those alignment values. From the left, 405 plus 75, and it will end 419 plus 50. So, from this exact line, I want to make a KML file. And later, in my drone, I will create a 2D linear flight program based on this line, but also the width to both sides, which I want to measure, including road lanes and ditches at both sides. Or, in other words, I do those selections based on my intended use cases. To create a KML file, I will use a command export KML. A dialog pops up in where I can write down my project name and description. For example, I will use some general road shortcode for name and then adding also start and end line marks. It is more important in those cases where I'm using multiple KML files in my drone and to just make a difference in between those. I can click next and now I want to select only this one line I showed you. So I select selected objects and now also clicking on this plus icon 
And now I just pick my line. If I push enter to confirm, I can also include some additional data. Once again, I can click next and I can notice that my coordinate system is automatically shown. But if needed, I can change it. I can click next again. If needed, I can also change elevation value. Currently, I will leave it as is, which means that I will use my current elevation at construction site. I can click next again, and now I can select to where I want to save my KML file. I click on those three dots, and I will save my file to my desktop by creating a subfolder for my KML files. And please pay attention to that you probably need to change your file extension. And then I will use the same name as for my project. I can then click on save and also export and then close. Once I minimize my Civil 3D program, I can see my drone KML folder. And I can double check if my KML file was actually exported. Before I move on and show you how you can use now this KML file to create a drone flight program, I will also show you Google Earth in where you can also create your KML files. And you can use Google Earth simply in your browser. So I have opened up earth.google.com website. I have also logged in using my email account. You can create a project also using some predefined line. For example, I can use my previously created KML file, but if this is not available, then I can just navigate into correct location. It is simply easier to start with some preliminary line. I can click on new project, then import KML file from computer. I will now select my KML file, open, and in section model, I do have my polyline. If I zoom in to the location, I can see that my line is in correct location position. This same line with the length of 1.3 kilometers. If I would like to change it or create a new one, then I can click on new feature, select draw line or shape. If needed, I can zoom in. I can then use this satellite image for a reference to create my line or an area, which depends which drone flight program I want to create. So if I want to create a 2D linear, then I will just draw a simple line. But if I want to use 3D photogrammetry, then I have to draw a closed area or polyline. I will currently cancel my drawing, but you can finish it up by using enter. Once you save it, it will be shown also in this list. And later, you can simply export this line or area into KML file. Quite simple, isn't it? But we will move forward and now we take a look how we can use this KML file in our drone joystick to actually create a new drone flight program. Currently, I'm using DJI Phantom 4 RTK drone and it has micro SD card slot on the right hand side. It is the same type of memory card that you use in your drone. But you can also use another one. Then I can use adapter and insert that card into my PC. After that, I can start to copy my file. Once you have this SD card in your PC, I do need to create a certain folder structure into where I will add my KML file. For my DJI drone, I do need to create a DJI folder first and then also KML subfolder. And now I can simply copy my previously created KML file into this KML folder. Now I can simply remove this SD card and insert it into my drone's joystick. And then I fire up my drone flight program creation again. Once you have fired up your drone controller, I first need to import that KML file into my controller itself. I can see that my memory card has one KML file and I just simply import it. Then I will click on the start button just next to my imported KML file 
and will start to create my drone flight program. I can see that my road alignment is in correct location. I will click Edit and start to create a flight area, which is defined with the distance from my road alignment to the left and right hand side. Currently, I have measured from the project drawing that this value could be 27 meters. Same value also to the right hand side. Of course, the distance depends on what we want to measure. Now I will input my flight elevation and currently using 30 meters. Then I will move forward to camera settings. I select if I fly in cloudy or sunny conditions and also setting up camera angle which in this case will be minus 60 degrees. I save my camera settings and then selecting advanced settings from where I do find my image overlaps. I will start with a setting of 80%. Once I have finished up with my main settings, I can check how much flight time it takes to carry out this survey. And if it comes out that I do not have enough batteries, I can change that overlapping value to a lower value. Even 70% is usually good enough, but currently we'll input 75. And now my flight time is about 70 minutes. I try to target this 70 minutes because currently I do have four batteries and each one lasts for about 20 minutes. So I do have some backup. Now I can save my flight program. Once again, I use some project shortcode as a first part of it and also including line start and end values, and also flight altitude, and saving my program. I have successfully finished my program and can exit from the editing and start a program at construction site with a fly button. I can use the same fly button if I do want to edit my flight program. Maybe I want to change my area itself, left and right reach values, to lower down my flight time. To do that, I will click on my project area and I get notification, do I want to edit it? And now I can see the same options as I started to create this program. I can also click on this previous button to change my left and right distance values. I do not want to change it this time, so I simply go back and also exit from the editing itself. And I also exit from the program. We have finished our flight program based on a KML file that was exported from the project drawing. Once again, we can pack it all up, move to the construction site and carry out our drone survey. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye bye.